peepees! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to create the Sonic the Hedgehog cookies. So first off you're going to need to get an image from Google and excuse my really old iPad, it's like ancient. And what I do is I just put a piece of greaseproof paper over the iPad and hope that the image doesn't move and trace it. Then cut that image out and that's going to act as your template for your cookie. So here we have our cookie dough and if you want to know what recipe I use I'll put a link in the description below. It's Hanny from Hanelia's and it's her basic sugar cookie recipe. You cannot go wrong with that. So use your greaseproof paper version of Sonic as your template. Cut that out and leave it to chill for about 15 minutes in your fridge. This just keep, helps your cookie keep its shape. So once you've chilled it, bake it in the oven at about 180 for 8 or 9 minutes. And then your cookie will be, this is the cookie now that I've lifted it out of the oven. And you're going to leave it on your baking sheet for about 10 minutes and then transfer it over to cool. And while it's cooling, I'm just going to use Sonic as the template again and use some fondant and trim around the outside. So it was only once I trimmed around the outside and I set my cookie beside Sonic, I realised I'd done a space the wrong way round. So I had to just flip the fondant over, but it's no problem. And I used some edible glue there to stick the fondant on. You can use icing, normally I do use icing but I'm just being a little bit lazy today. So place your Sonic template on top of your fondant and just mark around the outline where his eyes and his nose and his ears and everything are. Now we're going to go in with some Ocean Blue Edible Dust and I'll leave a link in the description for all the products that I'm using to create these Sonic the Hedgehog cookies. So go around the outside of Sonic with that ocean blue colour and just gradually build it up and build it up. Roll out some white fondant and use your template again as a guide to mark where Sonic's whites of his eyes are going to go. Trim that off and stick it on. And I also made a Sonic the Hedgehog 3D cake topper and you can check out that tutorial by clicking on the link above. So I'm rolling out a snake piece of flesh coloured fondant now. And I'm just measuring it up against my template before I stick it onto my cookie. And you can always kind of adjust it once it's on the cookie. Roll out another sneak piece of fondant, this time in Sonic, the Sonic blue colour. This is going to create the trim for around Sonic's eyes. And I realised when I put the trim on that his eyes looked a little bit bright so I'm just going over that with some of my ocean blue dust. Create some eyeballs for Sonic using some green fondant and just make sure that that's smoothed out. And then I'm going to use some food colouring gel, the green food gel to go around and create a trim around the outside of Sonic's eyes. You don't really need to do this part but I just think it helps the eyes really stand out. Create Sonic's ears by using your template again as a guide and cutting out two triangle pieces and go over those with your edible dust again just so it all blends in. Don't forget that little triangle flesh piece in the middle of that one ear. Create black pupils for Sonic using black fondant and create some catch lights using some white edible paint. Create a nose for Sonic by rolling out a small ball of black fondant measured up against your template. And this is just where I think the characters really start to come to life. Once you give them a nose and a smile. And you know I looked at him and I thought he needs to be something a little bit more. So I ended up using some black edible dust to create a trim around the outside of him and some skin tone dust just to make that flesh piece stand out. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around. I'll see you next time. Bye guys!